Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to showcase all the vehicles that are part of the drip feed for the Tuners DLC to GTA Online. So with the Tuners DLC, 17 vehicles were added but only 10 of them were released on day 1. 7 of them have been held back to be released every week, every Thursday, starting not this Thursday but the Thursday after that. And I'm going to showcase them all, every Thursday we'll get a new one and I'll showcase the order and all that kind of stuff as well. So. First up, we're going to do the legendary motorsport cars, and then we're going to do the Southern San Andreas Super Autos cars. There is one missing there, but I will show that one anyway. You will see that. The way that it works is that first we know the order that these are going to be released per website. So we know that we're going to have the car on the left first, then the middle, the second car, then the third car, then the car on the right. But that's only for the legendary motorsport website one of the Southern San Andreas Super Autos cars could be mixed in with this. So we might get, for example, the Comet first here, then we move over and get the Sultan, then we get this, then we get this, then we get that. You know, it, 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 can, it can vary between the websites, but this is the order for each website. So say we've had these two cars released, you know that the next one is going to be this one or whatever's going to be next up for Southern San Andreas. So let's just get straight into it. I'm going to do the legendary motorsport vehicles first. They're all sport cars, so they're all in the sport class, but all of these vehicles are also in the uh, tuners class as well. This first up is going to be the Comet S2. As you can see here, it's got it on the side there. This is the first vehicle that we're actually going to get from the drip feed. The Rockstar have already confirmed that, and this is the vehicle that you can test drive on the LS car meet. It's going to set you back about $1.9 million. The trade price will be $1.4 million, but I wouldn't put so, so much stock into unlocking the trade price because early indications seem like it's going to be a bit of a grind. People who've been grinding, you know, most of the day to day, for example, we're on day one, are only at sort of level 20. The Each of, each of these um, vehicles unlocks at uh, every five levels on the reputation in the LS car meet uh, at, at finishing at level 75 so th that that's for the trade price obviously you can buy them straight away whenever you want so I would probably focus more on the regular price because that's probably what you're going to end up paying so 1.9 million dollars pretty much for the Comet S2 in the sports class next up we're going to have the Vector um, interesting one it's going to set you back one point just under 1.8 million dollars but most of the cars here are, are kind of similarly priced honestly between sort of 1.5 and 2 million dollars uh, yeah the, the vector it's the the sort of the first vehicle um, for a while that have been made by Emperor who make the ETR one and a few of the slow cars as well so yeah it'll be an interesting one again see how it does in the sport class when it comes to the testing of all of these i'm obviously going to test every vehicle on the day that they're released and we'll compare and see how they are we've got next up the growler which to me looks very similar to the comet s2 people gave me a bit of stick for that in the stream when i was saying that but i mean you know are they not the same car i know the hood the, the hood is bugging out a little bit here but um, they, they just look so similar um, quite why it's not like another comet something else but I know people will say that it's you know in terms of the real life cars they're not the same either but I think the same as the real life cars as well all Porsches look the same to me uh, but yeah the growler is going to set you back 1.6 million dollars 1.2 million for the trade price the trade price generally seems to be saving you about 25 percent on each of these cars um, yeah, again, another sports car. All of these are in sports. We'll see how these do for lap time and top speed when they're released. And finally, the final car that we're going to get from the legendary motorsport website is the Cypher, Uber, another Ubermacht car. Um, $1.5 million. This one's going to cost you, or $1.1 for the trade price. When it comes to the, the speed, you know, we don't know how fast any of these are going to be right now. I'm going to be testing them when they release. Obviously, I've still got the testing to do for the 10 vehicles that we've got first of all. I'm going to be testing all of those, getting them all for lap time, make sure you're subscribed and all that good stuff so you know when the video goes live. You're going to see the fastest car to use from the Tuners DLC. And then when these are released every week, I'll be testing them for lap time and top speed. And there'll be a new video every Thursday saying where these vehicles fit in 
with all those other vehicles in the sport class and also in the tuners class as well which i'll talk about in a bit as well so yeah those are the four vehicles for the legendary motorsport website those are the prices and that's the order that we're going to get them in now when it comes to southern san andreas the first vehicle from southern san andreas isn't working right now but it was working earlier so i'm going to intersperse a bit of footage here of that vehicle it's the dominator asp or dominator asp so the second dominator alongside the gtt that we've already got released two dominators in this doc this is going to set you back 1.7 million well basically 1.8 million dollars or 1.3 for the trade price and it's a pretty interesting car to be honest you know muscle it's in the muscle class obviously all of the cars that we just saw were in the sport class this is in the muscle class alongside the, the dominator that we saw so we'll see how it fares against the other dominators the piss was a dominator the dominator gtx all that kind of stuff we'll, we'll figure out where it lies and obviously all of these cars also have all of the the tuner aspects that the other vehicles that we've had from this DLC do being able to stance the the rear wheels for it, the, the wheels for example uh, to put the low grip tires on all that kind of stuff that's exclusive to the tuner vehicles it's exclusive to these vehicles as well these have those features and they will be in the tuners subclass for racing for street racers so yeah the dominator asp will be the first vehicle that we get from southern san andreas super autos it might be straight after the comet you know the week after the comet s2 it might be a few weeks we might get all the legendary motorsport vehicles first and then get the three southern san andreas super autos vehicles we don't know but that one's going to be the first one from the southern san andreas super autos site the second vehicle from the southern san andreas super autos site is going to be the sultan rs classic so we have the sultan we have the Sultan Classic, we have the Sultan RS, and now we're completing it with the Sultan RS Classic, which will set you back about $1.8 million or $1.3 million for the trade price. It looks very similar to the Sultan Classic, honestly. You know, they, they, we've got the Sultan in sports, the Sultan Classic is also in sports, the Sultan RS is in supers, the Sultan RS Classic is back in sports. So, again, class systems are a mess like we, we know that at this point it's it's useless to even think about but um yeah this this will be a sports car so five uh five of these seven drip feed vehicles are all going to be in the sports class also they're going to be in the tuners subclass for those tuner street racers um and yeah it's uh it, it looks very similar to the Sultan classic obviously it's two door but it, it's very similar uh, and we'll see how it performs when you know when i'm able to test it and then finally, the final vehicle from the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site. And it might be the final vehicle that we get from this DLC as a whole. And I can't quite believe I'm going to say this. It's the Previan, which is going to sit you back about $1.5 million just under, or $1.1 for the trade price. And it's in the Coupés class. It's a Coupé. Can you believe it? The, the last coupe that was added to the game was the Windsor Drop back in 2016. Five years the coupes class hasn't had a new car added to it. Will it take on the Zions at the top? The Zion has been the top dog for this coupes class since 2013 when the game was released. It's still the original and best to use for the coupes class. Will the Previan beat it? We don't know. We'll have to wait a while to find out. But yeah, I'm amazed. Five years without a new car in the Coupes class and we finally get one. Quite why they chose this, I don't know. There's been so many other vehicles over the years that have been bungled into sports that could be could have gone in Coupes. And the same is true of, you know, out of the 17 vehicles in this DLC, I think 12 of them are in the sports class. And now we've got 85 vehicles in the sports class overall. It's ridiculous. But, you know, we it's a coupe it's the first new coupe added to the game in five years so if nothing else it's got that claim to fame and again it's got like with all these vehicles and all the vehicles from the first 10 that we've seen already it's got all the usual features the the uh, low grip tires that you can add if you want all the interior stuff that you can do and the heavily modifiable versions of the car that you can change all the uh, aspects of it and the way that it looks you know it is a tuner and that goes for all of these cars as well you can kind of make them look however you want so 
yeah, those are the seven vehicles. Like I said, when it comes to the testing, I'm going to be aiming to get the, uh, the, the the lap times out. Hopefully tomorrow I'll see what happens. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to or not. You know, it's 10 vehicles to test. That's a lot. And I want to do them all in one video. Uh, it, it takes a lot of effort to do this lap time and the, the lap time testing on its own is, is a lot. And then I've got to do the top speed testing as well. But that will be a separate video uh, in a few days time. So I'm going to try and get the lap times out for the, uh, the the 10 vehicles that we've got first of all. And then every Thursday when these are released, starting with the Comet S2 in one week's time, I'm going to be putting out a lap time and top speed testing video for those. So you can see where they fit, not only in their own classes, so super uh, sports, muscle or coupes, because you can use them in those races as well but also where they fit in the tuners class as well. So whatever I find to be the quickest car around the lap for the tuners class out of the top, out of the 10 that we have immediately, keep in mind that one of these might end up quicker than it. So if you're thinking about budgeting your money or trying to keep some money back for a little bit, um, keep that in mind that, you know, you might want to spend money on one of these cars later on down the line to have the best chance to win at street races uh, in future. Uh, so yeah, that's what it's all about. Just making sure that you spend your money as wisely as possible. And that's why I do what I do to make sure you're not buying things that you you, you don't really need or don't really want. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll test them all when they come out. And these are the vehicles and the orders and the prices that we've still got to come from this DLC. Seven of them, obviously the Dominator ASP should be there as well. And thank you, big thank you to Catalyst who's doing his yoga over there for um, helping sort this out. It's been an absolute nightmare, honestly, to get this video out. Getting these cars sorted has been ridiculous. Um, and that's why this video is so late being uploaded today. But he's been a big help in making it possible. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys. Hopefully this has been a help to let you know what you've got to come from this DLC so you can make informed buying decisions about what you might want to buy and what you might want to wait for later on. And yeah, I'll, I'll be hard at work, obviously, testing all the vehicles every Thursday for these and over the next few days for everything else as well. So thank you guys for the support. Make sure you subscribe, notifications on, all that kind of stuff so you don't miss out on the videos. And yeah, just stay tuned. And there's going to be plenty of content to come on this DLC uh, later on. So yeah, just, just make sure you're keeping on top of the channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.